Thank you for the opportunity to present this hopefully exciting story which is about how AI can enable a new and innovative ecosystem to assure a sustainable forest life for the benefit of us all living on this planet. This is a collaboration between Shagwaski, representing a part of the indigenous trappers in Canada, the reinsurance company SCORE and the IT company Sojeti. The ones giving this presentation will be me, Joachim from Sojeti, and Shugo from Shagwaski. First, to set the scene, let's watch this video together. First Nations trappers have the forest as their home, their workplace and their lifestyles. To go back to, to find balance, we, have, we go back to what we've been practicing for hundreds of years as in our treaty rights and to pass on our knowledge to our children and their children. We have seen changes in our climate and our areas. All of this affects our livelihood as trappers. Also, it uh, destroys our medicinal plants. Aggressive and incomplete forest management practices, along with extreme fires, are devastating for trappers. In the Western world, we are also recognizing that there are negative changes. We are aware that we live on the Earth's resources. At the same time, we are many who want to change it and find better and more sustainable solutions. What if we work together? What if we work together? For our project, it means that partners in tech, trade, and trust work together to achieve balance. When others join us, they will not see clear cuts as being bad, but they will not also see them everywhere. They will see them as tools to manage fire. When others join us, they'll not see fires in the forest and wood pellets as bad. Rather, they will see controlled fires in the forest and certain brands of wood pellets as tools to help manage the fuel load in the forests to avoid extreme forest fires. Working together means balance in how we see things, how we speak, and what we do. But we must do, because faith without action is pointless. First Nation Trappers with Unextinguished Treaty Rights, who started this project, will play an important role in developing nature-based solutions for the world. In the previous video, Johnson provides a good reflection of his hopes. He hopes we work together, he hopes their voices are heard, and he hopes you can help protect what is cherished most. 
by keeping the trees standing and with First Nation trappers as our guide, nature will direct forest management. This is how we will do it. Our focus will be to reduce forest fire risk. This is what we will do. Finally, our project will do these three things. Number one, protect and restore biodiversity. Number two, create jobs. Number three, help us globally achieve net zero carbon targets. We are proud to have worked on this with our tech partner, Sojeti, and our good friend, SCORE. Our mission as Reinsure is to minimize the impact of shocks whenever they occur, to protect people and societies by making this world more livable and resilient. Our role is twofold to be there after the shocks strike, and equally importantly, to proactively help to reduce the risk of them happening in the first place. We can only achieve this goal by supporting and collaborating with partners who share the same vision and who are ready to share their knowledge and skills. SCORE is therefore proud to work with the First Nation trappers in Northern Canada to develop an innovative insurance solution that will protect their living. By combining our risk and capital management expertise with this trapper's profound knowledge of the forest and how to manage it, we are striving to collectively improve fire risk management. This will not only reduce the risk of devastating fires, but will also ensure that if trees burn, there is a clear procedure in place to restore the damaged areas, not just in terms of economic loss, but also in terms of carbon retention capacity and sustainability. Based on our long-standing experience in agricultural insurance, we are used to observing gradual developments and providing solutions for this kind of natural behavior. As such, we can act as a bridge between long cycles determined by ecosystem behaviors and the financial industry, combining the trapper's knowledge of the forest with the shock-absorbing capabilities of reinsurance to ensure that the trapper's way of life can be maintained. Let's do it together. Faisons-le ensemble. To enable a new and scalable way of working that we combine the ability and the forces from both indigenous trappers and the Western world, we need AI to be part of the core. In Sujeti, we have created Geosatellite Intelligence, that we combine satellite images from ESA with AI and data science to do distance surveillance. This is a journey starting three years back, and one of the very successful projects was done at Sveaskog, which is the biggest forest company in Sweden. In Sweden, we have, since summer of 2018, a huge problem with bark beetles due to the global warming. The beetle eats through the bark, and during a couple of weeks it kills the tree. It spreads rapidly, and we have an exponential growth. This problem caused 7 million cubic meter of wood to be destroyed in Sweden in only 2019. Creating of course a big financial loss for the company, but also, more important, environmental negative impact due to the carbon oxide released into the air. This solution was the starting point to create a now publicly available service to find bark beetle outbreaks in near real time. It was established together with the Swedish Forestry Board and launched in March this year. To generalize this story, we now have the ability to find dead and dying trees using AI and satellite images, which can be used for many applications, for instance preventing fire hazards. To make it all come together, we want to bring the time-deaf know-how from the indigenous trappers and enhance them with AI to be able to scale over really large areas. To do this we use geosatellite intelligence with analysis of satellite images, combining them with airborne photos from helicopter and drones for validation and fine-tuning. In the center of it all, the goal is to keep the tree standing and preserve the forest life. By using geosatellite intelligence, we can detect changes over time in the forest and assure that the forest life is sustained and the carbon oxide is preserved. We can also find areas that for some reason the trees are either dead or dying. With this knowledge, we can direct the trappers to perform precision forestry and remove the dead trees, the fuel from the forest, and decrease the risk of fire hazards. 
This is only the first part of the story. Share knowledge, scale it and take actions. The second part of this story is to create the engine, making it all possible from a financial and revenue perspective. With the future insured carbon offset products, we can let the companies of the Western world to contribute to this ecosystem by compensating their climate footprint. This gives the trappers the ability to take the action needed to make the wheel of the new ecosystem turn, an ecosystem which creates insured carbon offsets from sustained forest life enabled with AI. This is the future that we are working towards. Thank you for listening. Together we want to make a difference and if you are interested to be part of it, please connect to us.